so previously we discuss about that build topic we go through the some derivations in that build topic so generally belt are used for power transmissions generally belt and ropes are used for the power transmission from one location to the another location so it is a uh, these are the connectors for the used for the power transmission from one location to the another location so these are come under the flexible connectors that we already discussed belt rope chain drives these are the flexible connectors <coughs> in belt and rope drive that flexibility we can obtain by distortion of that material and in chain drive that flexibility we can obtain by means of the joints by means of the joints in between the two elements in between the two elements or pairs so these belt and rope drives are generally used for the power transmission major function is the power transmission from one location to the another location so these belt drives we will go through the belt drive in your syllabus that rope drive are for the introductory uh, introductory point of view or at the introductory level rope drive so in that uh, we discuss about that construction and working of uh, that rope drive so next uh, these belt drives these belt drives have many types generally flat belt there are again different type of the belts flat belt v belt timing belt etc we go through the uh, first for the flat belt for the flat belt we derive some equations or uh, or formulas that are used for the belt drives and just these are the modified these formulas are modified for the v belt and for the again for the time belt you put required for this variation for the time belt so first we derive for the flat belt and then we move further for the v belt and the time belt timing belt so these these belts have some types so these types we can call it as a open belt drive cross belt drive some quarter turn belt drive so belt drive with idler pulley so such arrangements are there cone cone pulley or uh, cone type of the cone pulley drives or fast and loose pulley drive compound belt drive so such such belt drives are used for the power transmission from one location to another location and these are used for the different arrangement or for different purposes for different arrangement or for different purposes so first we go to this open belt drive <coughs> this open belt drive we already uh, observed this figure open belt drive here there are two shafts two shafts this is one shaft and this is another shaft and one of the shaft is a driver and another is the driven so in here in this case this is a driver this is a driven so small one is a driven and this larger one is a driver here and on this these shafts on this shaft two pulleys are attached right? this is a larger pulley this is a smaller pulley and on these pulleys on this these pulleys are joined or these pulleys are joined to the shaft and these two shafts are join these two shafts attached with the pulley are joined by means of this belt by means of the belt having some thickness having some thickness t having some thickness t so these two shafts are joined by means of this belt having some thickness t and now this belt are now around this pulley around this pulley and these are joined to these two shafts now in this case in this open belt drive it means here these two shafts are parallel these two shafts are parallel to each other in one plane these two shafts are parallel to each other also in one plane and both the pulleys are rotated in the same direction both the pulleys are rotated in the same direction if this this driver rotated in this clockwise direction this driven also rotated in the clockwise direction so for such arrangement this arrangement is called as a open belt drive here driver also rotated in one direction on the same direction as that of the driven um, shaft that of the driven shaft and these two shafts are attached by means of this belt this belt 
So this belt I have here estimatically it is represented to have some thickness. So it's, uh, it is uh, this thickness is represented here. So this arrangement is called as the open belt. Wire. So another arrangement in that another arrangement is a <coughs> in last last uh, PPT we also go through the derivation of this length of the flat belt drive. Length of the flat belt drive or open belt type. Length of flat belt drive for this open belt type. We all go through already in the uh, last PPT derivation of this or derivation of this flat belt type. Of our open belt drive, open belt drive. So this is the another arrangement is called as a cross or twist belt drive. Another arrangement called cross or twist belt drive. So the, in this arrangement, in this arrangement, if you uh, look at this arrangement, if you look at this arrangement, you will find that again here, again here, these two shafts are again parallel. These two shafts are again parallel, but here we are interested to rotate these these two pulleys this driven pulleys this driven pulley in opposite direction in opposite direction that of the driver pulley so in this case in this case this arrangement this arrangement these two shafts which are attached with the pulley are now are joined with this crossed belt drive crossed belt drive these are attached with the crossed belt drive so such arrangement in this arrangement in this arrangement we will find that there is a reverse direction there is a reverse direction considered with that driver so driven pulley or driven this driven pulley have opposite direction that of the driver pulley so here this driver pulley rotated in the clockwise direction and driven pulley rotated in the anti clockwise direction so such arrangement such arrangement is called as a cross belt drive so all these arrangements may be open wheel drive, cross wheel drive, or idler pulleys. So these are the according to applications. These are these are developed according to application. So here here in some applications we required that the driver pulley rotated as the driver pulley rotated in clockwise direction. Driver pulley should be rotated in the anti clockwise direction. So in such cases, in such cases we are attached here by means of the cross belt drive. So such type of the belt drive arrangement you can observe generally observe in the farming equipments. Farming equipments. You observe that, uh, uh, that rotor arrangement in the farming equipment. In the farming equipments you will observe this. Easily, easily you can observe this. So such type of the drives are called as a cross drive. Belt drive, cross rod, twist belt drive. Their shafts are also parallel, but the direction of the two pulleys are the in opposite direction. Direction of the two pulleys in the opposite direction. So such type is called as a cross rod belt drive or twist belt drive. Now, here, now another arrangement, another arrangement is called as a quarter turn belt drive. Quarter turn, another arrangement is called as a quarter turn belt drive. So in this quarter turn, turn belt drive, these two shafts are now again are joined here when these two shafts are at right angle to each other. When two shafts are right angle to each other. This shaft, this shaft axis is on the outward side. This shaft is outward side on the this paper plane. On this paper plane, this shaft axis is on the outward side or perpendicular to this particular paper plane and this shaft this shaft having an axis is which is vertical which is vertical so both axis both axis of this driver and driven shaft axis of the both the driver and driven shaft are the perpendicular to each other so in this case in this case these two shafts are joined by means of this flat belt by means of the flat belt such arrangement is called as a quarter turn belt drive this arrangement is called as a quarter turn belt drive here again here you find that driver and driven pulley have the same direction. Driver and driven pulley are having the same direction. So such arrangement is called as a quarter turn belt drive. Quarter turn belt drive. So another arrangement of this quarter turn belt drive. Here also, here also, this axis is vertical. This axis are now it is in 
horizontal. This axis is the horizontal. So both axes are now both sharp axes are now perpendicular to each other. But again these are joined by means of this flat belt drive, a flat belt drive with by means of this one guide pulley. By means of this guide pulley. So this arrangement is also used for the when shafts are perpendicular to each other, this arrangement is also used by means of the with the help of the guide pulley. With the help of the guide pulley. So such arrangement, such arrangement is called the quarter turner belt drive. Such arrangement is called the quarter turner belt drive. So this may be used directly or maybe with the help of the guide pulley. So this is a quarter turner belt drive. Another <coughs> another belt drive with this idler pulley. Another belt drive you can use with this idler pulley. Now in this idler pulley, this angle of contact as in last PPT we discussed it some, somewhat angle of contact. Again we discussed it here in this PPT also in detail. This angle of contact, angle of contact of this belt with this pulley angle of contact of this belt with this pulley here also this angle of contact with this of this belt with this pulley may be some sometime insufficient may be sometime insufficient so this we can increase it this we can increase it this angle of contact we can increase the requirements of idler pulley by means of this idler pulley so this idler pulley is attached here and this belt is now moving not only on these two pulleys not only on these two pulleys, this pulley and this pulley, but also along with this pulley also. This is called as idler pulley. And due to provision of this idler pulley, due to provision of this idler pulley, this angle of contact now increases. This angle of contact now increases. This, uh, due to this small angle of contact, there is a uh, improper uh, contact, improper contact or improper friction in between this belt and pulley, so that. There is a slip, we can observe that slip due to that improper angle of contact. So this angle, angle of contact we can increase by means of the idler pulley. And due to this, due to application of uh, apply, apply this idler pulley, we can obtain high velocity ratio. High velocity ratio and required belt tension also we can increase. So due to this idler pulley, we can achieve that high velocity ratio by increasing the belt tension properly. So this arrangement is called as a belt drive with a single idler pulley. Sometimes many idler pulleys are, are we can observe, many idler pulleys we can observe here. So such 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 a multi idler pulley arrangement we can generally observe in automobile. This is generally observed in automobile if you uh, observe any any engine you can generally uh, observe this this type of the arrangement this type of the arrangement with multi idler pulleys with multi idler pulleys there are different number of shafts which are attached by means of the single belt by means of the single belt so such type of the arrangement you can generally observe in the automobile in the automobile so uh, different shafts are attached different shafts are attached in that automobile Maybe for motor, maybe for pump, like that. And these are all are attached alternator. All are attached with this the engine shaft. All are attached with the engine shaft. And engine shaft to provide now power to the all these uh, alternator pumps, like that. So this are able to be generally observed in the automobile with multiple idler pulleys. With multiple idler pulleys. So here one one is one is the driver shaft, one is the major power source, and this power is transmitted to the another shafts, another shafts. These one, two, three, four, five, five shafts by means of the this idler pulleys, by means of this idler pulleys. So such an arrangement is called as a belt drive with idler pulleys. Maybe single idler pulley user or multiple idler pulleys you can use there. So such arrangement we can generally observe in the automobile. So say, this uh, uh, this type of the arrangement is called the different arrangements you can observe in day to day life. So another arrangement, another arrangement is here compound builder. There are another arrangement is compound builder. 
here on the one shaft here if you will observe here observe driver pulley this driver pulley is rotate this driven pulley which is mounted on the shaft mounted on this shaft also on the shaft another pulley is attached on the shaft another pulley is attached which is a operated as a driver pulley which is operated as a driver pulley for this second fourth pulley which is operated as a driver pulley for this fourth pulley so when two pulleys are attached two pulleys are attached on one shaft two pulleys are attached on the one shaft and this arrangement also this are in this arrangement also all shafts are parallel to each other all shafts are parallel to each other and two pulleys are attached on a single shaft and these two pulleys are one one is working as a driven pulley which is a rotated by means of another driver pulley and that another pulley attached on this this shaft worked as a driver pulley which rotate the another driven pulley. So such arrangement, such arrangement is called as a compound wheel drive. Compound wheel drive in which two pulleys are attached. Two pulleys are attached on the single shaft. Two pulleys are attached on the single shaft. Now power transmitted not directly from one from this pulley number one to pulley number four, but it is transmitted through intermediate shaft. Through intermediate shaft, and on this shaft two pulleys are attached. Number second pulley and this third pulley is attached. On the single shaft, now second pulley is acted as a driven pulley, third pulley is acted as a driver pulley for this fourth, fourth shaft. So such arrangement is called as a compound wheel drive. Compound wheel drive. So another arrangement, another arrangement we will observe here, which is a stepped cone pulley drive. Stepped cone pulley drive. This arrangement is a stepped cone pulley drive. Now this stepped cone pulley drive you can generally observe. Generally observe in any machine workshop. Any machine workshop, you can generally observe this stepped cone pulley drive. This we can observe for the drilling machine also, for lathe machine also, and for every, generally you can observe in any any machine, any machine machine shop, and then different machines. These are used, but these are used to obtain different velocity ratio. Different velocity ratio that we can observe. Obtain by means of this arrangement. By means of this arrangement, if you look at here, if you look at here, on the driver shaft, on the driver shaft, there are three. The this pulley, this pulley now modified. This pulley is now modified in steps. These steps and these steps have different diameter. This pulley is modified in terms of step. These steps have different diameter. Again, driven pulley also. Modified in terms of steps. Again, these steps have different diameter. Again, these type uh, steps have different diameter, and this due to this different diameter. Suppose we attach this first part, first stepped part, and this driven first stepped part. Then you, you will observe that speed is increased. As soon as you shift this belt from this step to this step and this step. Again, speed is reduced. Again, you shift this belt to this step. Again, the speed is reduced. So this is called as a stepped or cone pulley drive. This is called as a stepped or cone pulley drive. So pulley, this pulley is modified in terms of step, having different diameter, having different diameter. And as soon as you attach it at different location, as soon as you attach it for different location of the steps provided on this these pulleys, we can obtain different. Speed. We can obtain different speed for the driven shaft without changing the speed of this driver shaft. Without changing the speed of driver shaft, with that same driving shaft speed, we can obtain different driven shaft speed by this arrangement, by the stepped arrangement, which are provided on the pulley having different diameter. So this type is called as a stepped or cone pulley drive. Another is the fast and loose pulley drive. <clears throat> this this particular fast and loose pulley pull drive you can generally observe in the carpentry workshop. Uh, generally, we can observe in the carpentry workshop. So, uh, uh, to changing this belt, to changing this belt, we have to stop that machine. We have to stop that machine by uh, uh, shut down that machine, and then we shift this belt from this location to this location. But in this fast and loose pulley, in this fast and loose pulley. There are certain arrangements. There are certain arrangements. Sometimes 
for small for small time we can disengage we can disengage this pulley and in the running condition disengage this pulley in the running condition and we can shift this pulley we can shift this pulley on another we can shift this belt on the another pulley we can shift this belt on the another pulley there is some arrangement so while running in while in the running condition we can change this belt from this pulley to this pulley so such type of arrangement is called as a fast and loose pulley drive so this arrangement is we can generally observe in the carpentry workshop in carpentry workshop so such uh, arrangements are provided in machine shops these are generally observed in any any machine these are used uh, generally in carpentry workshop we can observe this so this flat belt drive this flat belt drive are used for the power transmission so there are different arrangements we observe different arrangements we observe in this case compound belt drive idler pulley or quarter turn belt drive so such arrangements cross belt drive open belt drive this type of the arrangements we observe in this flat belt drive and these are used for the power transmission according to application and according to need according to need these drives are developed with the quarter turn maybe idler pulley or maybe fast loop pulley fast loop pulley or step cone pulley compound pulley etc